spine in London, while the mighty Metallica also took to a club stage at the London Astoria 2 for an impromptu performance, especially for members of their fan club. Um, basically, we haven't uh, played live for 13 months. <laughs> And uh, so we uh, come over to do di this gig, and we thought maybe it'd be a good idea if we uh, went and had a little rehearsal for a few of our closer friends. So we thought we've been trying to work really close with the fan club and trying to do a lot of special things for them. And it's been up and running for about a year, year and a half now. And I think that every time we get a chance to throw something special their way, we do it. So we booked a show at the LA2, and basically you had to be a member of the fan club to get in. So we sold it out, and uh, it was great. It was a lot of fun. out a thing uh, for Christmas that will be the fan can which is basically a, a kind of a, a thing that we had for sale a couple years ago these cans that the record companies did we're gonna do those for the fan club we'll special items they'll get some sneaks from stuff in the studio on the new record that won't be available anywhere else uh, and stuff like that so it's just doing a lot of stuff like that um, and trying to give them access to a lot of things Metallica are doing first so close no matter how far just the whole setup is, is just very, very uh, together. Like I said, it's all about how you want to do it. And if you want to keep your feet on the ground and keep in touch with your fans and keep in touch with what's going on around, it's not hard. But just most of the people that end up in situations like us selling, you know, 30 million records or whatnot, they sort of tend to sort of drift. And it's just like, if you really want, you can do it. And we've been doing it and, you know, it's going fine. And Metallica are now back in the studio, hard at work, putting the finishing touches to their new album, which is set for release early next year.